Hello guys, and welcome back to episode 16 <laughs> on the Bifitec server. <clears throat> you may be able to tell I've got a bit of a cold, uh, which is why I'm awfully lucky to have recorded all this video on Sunday when I wasn't feeling quite so rough. Anyways, last episode we got up to or tripling. This episode we're gonna do better. Promise. So let's uh, let's see where we left off. It starts with the purifying. If you just want to get tripling, purifying factory is going to need an electrolytic separator. I don't know why this isn't doing anything. We'll try breaking it. And this is the one that's got power, so we'll try just setting it the way we want it to face. And see if that will please. Okay, hydrogen's going up. That means the oxygen is getting pushed into here. Once that's full, it'll start filling up these things and then start filling up here, which is exactly what we want. Actually, that's just pretty much what we want. I'm going to remove you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on. We're going to set that to dumping excess. We should see oxygen building up. Very, very good. So, not that one. We want to make real quick. Oh, we can make ultimate gas tanks. That's cool. So we'll make a basic gas tank for osmium. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And basic gas tank. Good. Now with that, An advanced gas tank that's easy so there's our advanced tank and then we check that of course makes sense and the ultimate is probably no problem I'm gonna make an ultimate and be right back and ultimate excellent now we will go back home whoa And we will install this thing. Just shift and click. So it's got this little uh, emblem on this side and that is the side it'll pull from. It will accept gas from any side. But yeah, so this is currently filling this up. Once that is solid yellow, this will start filling up right here and we will have a nice big reservoir come on <laughs> well we'll let that go and let's get started over here okay now then I'm going to start one right here and we're going four by four. We're going to want valves up here and then the controller is going on top of those. But we're going to call this One, two, I believe it can have 16 layers like this. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16. And then a solid layer 
like that. So I'm gonna fill this in. Whoa. Get most of this built and I will be back. Okay, so we've got the bottom layer, which is solid, and then a bunch of rings, 16 rings, well, 15, that are just complete rings around. One of them, the 16th, has to have a couple of valves in it. And of course, you can have, you don't have to have the valves on, on the same layer. You can, you know, put one above and one below and all that. And uh, finally, up here, it turns out that just one stack of blocks makes more than enough. So that is good news. Up here, we are actually going to need to clear a little bit of space outside of our chunk. I think just a couple blocks. That ought to do it. Come on. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Trying to be clever. Okay. And we're going to make four uh, da -da 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 of these advanced solar generators, which is going to need a bunch of those. And yeah, so I'm going to go get to crafting and I will be back. And four advanced solar generators. Perfect. Okay that away. Now we should be able to bump back here and now if you like you can make certain that this is pointing out and the or at least this used to be the case the uh Thing that we're building doesn't actually use the power from this which reminds me i'm going to have to get power over here somehow <laughs> uh, da -da -da. but once those are built that looks like it worked <laughs> excellent okay now we're gonna pull our fluid conduit out and we're gonna hook on up here. We're going to bring it over here and down. And this will be set to insert. And uh oh. Okay. Water's going up. But more importantly, brine is going up. Now, the whole reason we built this out here in the desert is because of the temperature. The temperature in, uh, in the desert goes up a lot higher, a lot faster than it does in any other biome. And this structure right here is the exact reason I wanted to find a nice green space right next to a desert. This isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but it worked out real nice. <laughs> so, our brine production is climbing. The only downside is that this only produces brine when the sun is in the sky. And we are going to have to start Piping the brine out, which, hmm, that is actually troublesome. Let's see if we can do that and that. I'm going to extract. And let's get ourselves a tank set up, Ugh, which means coming back here for a bunch of iron, 
Now we're going to do one of them, two of these, and then like that, like that, and like that to get an iron drum. And you know what? We ought to reinforce that. So a couple more of them, one more of those, bump, bump, and whoop, like that and then the reinforced is okay and like that Oop. couple way to pressure plates oh and the drum and there we are let's do that again uh one come on that's an extra one but who cares bump 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 and good that away and then we will run home and I've missed a whole bunch of chat okay where the heck is the exit here we are that's what I thought that things run dry we'll take that one replace it with this one Doot. And then we'll set this up right here. We'll set it to insert and set this to always active. Brian, excellent. That is going down like crazy. Man. Typically this will shoot up during the day. It starts cooling off during the night and once it gets down past a certain point it stops making brine. So we will let this fill up and then that will fill up. Are we still extracting? We're still extracting. Well, it knows it's going to be a water barrel I guess. This is getting tons of brine, which is excellent. And now, <laughs> now I do a little bit of research. Okay, we're gonna take the brine into our other Ooh. Let's see, if we set this to extract Then setting this here. Oh, they do connect. There we go. Now I'll set this to insert, and the brine should be filling that up. Excellent. Item conduit and do do do. Energy conduit. We pull energy. Actually, all the way over here. Do 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 do. And now we should be getting chlorines on this side, sodium on that side. Excellent. We will dump the sodium. We want lots and lots of chlorine, so I'm going to get another one of these tanks. I'm going to get two more, actually, because we're going to be combining the hydrogen out of here and the chlorine out of here. And we're going to be making hydrogen chloride. <laughs> this is getting interesting. We're also going to need 
a chemical infuser. Drat. Which is going to take over both my tanks. I'm going to have to start processing some osmium because I am out. Well, this is nice. I've got my uh, elite purifying factory up and running. It's got eight of the gas upgrades. Increases the efficiency of gas using machines. And now I look at my bottle and it is slowly continuing to go up. I mean, a little bit comes out every here and there. That'll change once I get some speed upgrades in here, but yeah, it's nice to see that it's keeping up so far. Little crash. All better now. Chemical infuser. Check. Okay, we are getting chlorine here and hydrogen here. So we want to set our chemical infuser up right there. And we'll put our pressurized tube going in one side there and there. And that should be giving us hydrogen chloride. <laughs> okay, hydrogen chloride is going to go into our injection factory. Yes. And I cannot remember if it is a liquid or not. That, let's see. Well, let's see if the fluid conduit hooks. It does not. Dang it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That makes this right here tricky. Or no. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, see, that's got no gas in it because this is filling up. Okay, I'm going to let this go and fill this up and fill this up. And hopefully once it's all full, we can make this a little simpler. So this isn't going nearly fast enough. And the weak point is actually my water collection. So I thought I would try... I'm sorry if you can hear my poor husband coughing in the background. Let's try some of these and see if that speeds up water collection at all. Oop. We gotta get in like that. And then... Ooh. All right. I can just go right there. <laughs> so that four without it, it goes 200, 400. Mm, not much faster with a speed upgrade. Yeah. That was odd. Four. And let's see if this. So hopefully we're going to see this is. Darn it. Let's see. I guess we can probably get by with a few more speed upgrades. Why do I still have an up stack upgrade? I took it out of this one, didn't I? Yeah. Two, four. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to speed this up at all. I'm going to keep trying, though. Okay, I definitely need to come up with a better solution for uh, getting water into the system. This is not filling up at all, and we're barely keeping up with this one. Just, I mean, just barely. 
but we are moving a little bit in the right direction these are these bits here are starting to fill up with uh, what is it hydrogen chloride you can see there's kind of a green tint to the pipes this one is completely full of oxygen and that's yellow and yeah now I have to place this pipe here and I'm hoping really really hoping that it hooks up here instead of there ha <laughs> huh. maybe if I do this here we go oh goodness no that's not that is suboptimal I wonder what these are full of now. I guess hydrogen chloride. I wonder... There's got to be some way that I can break that. Probably with a configurator? Which... We can... Basically make right now. Da -da 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 -da. We'll grab one of these. And bump. Oh, we need a piece of gold. <laughs> we have plenty of gold ore. We're at this stage, so we'll make some gold. Oh man. Okay, we're doing okay. Ah, da da da. -da make this and I will be back okay I don't know if that just recorded so what I've done is I have set up I think I think this one gone in and given it 20 speed upgrades and now this is increasing we are holding steady production here I'd like to see this increasing but I'm not expecting it and as long as the production here stays steady, I'm happy. Because uh, that is going to be filling this up, just like we want to see. And this is actually filling up. So, yeah, we're good there. Uh, that is going to be producing all of this. I was unable to figure out how to untangle uh, these two things connecting. So I just made another set of... Uh, ultimate pressurized tubes and brought it around into the side which means now if we put a piece of gold ore in there we are going to get four gold shards I already turned the uh, auto sort on and the auto eject on so we are quadrupling our ore <laughs> that's fantastic I figured it out finally it's because we're in a claim chunk. If I unclaim the chunk, look at that. That starts filling up just exactly what we want to see. And then we switch this to always active. That's going to start sending. And <laughs> much better. Yay! So, I don't know if anybody commented on the video yesterday, but today, we got it fixed. Go us. <laughs> okay, this is my final setup for the fortune rig. We've got fortune 3 book. This is placing the blocks, and this is picking up all the XP that generates. You can see just for a half second, there's an orb there, but then this thing... Just sort of picks it up. So, whoa. I have disconnected these these two nodes. So this is just putting in, you know, all this stuff, and that means that this one is automatically picking up. This all gets shipped back up here, and we can watch it go through. 
redstone. <laughs> oh, I love it. So happy to get this up and working because, man, I got a lot of stuff to fortune. Anyways, back to it, guys. So, one final optimization. I put a redstone torch under where the block gets placed and switch this to redstone on because otherwise it makes that noise all the time. This way, the redstone torch charges that block, which sends the signal into this, and it breaks the block. So that'll make this much easier to live with. And that's as far as we're going to get today. I can't believe it. I thought for certain we were going to get some more quintupling. Uh, I thought maybe we'd get like halfway through the ore quintupling, but that is a very complicated thing. So come back on Friday. I will uh, have that up for you. Hopefully I'll have a voice back then as well. I'm very happy we got the fortuning link though. Fortuning, very, very good. If you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, I would really appreciate the subscribe so that I can see all of you next time. <laughs>